All right, we'll get into some of the science here a little more closely. Bypass airflow is a widely talked about concept, um, but it's often misunderstood. There's bypass airflow at the cabinet level, but there's also bypass airflow at the room level. And at the room level is what's most important to consider. So in these next three slides, they represent either a small room or, or uh, all the infrastructure in the room is condensed down into these two rows of equipment and this one cooling unit. And the arrows are sized and the numbers next to the arrows represent the volumetric flow rate or the cubic feet per minute, the, f the flow rate of air through those different locations. So we see that in this room, all the air moving through all the cooling units, there's 10 units of air. And it doesn't matter whether it's cubic feet per minute or liters per second, uh, it's just a, a flow rate and the relative uh, quantities are what's important uh, to learn from. So we have 10 units of air moving through all the cooling units and if 10 units goes under the floor, we add up all the air that comes out of every opening in the raised floor, we're gonna get a total of 10 units. And in this example, we have air coming out of unsealed cable openings under the rows of cabinets, and that's a total of six units of air, leaving those openings. And that air is wasted. It's bypassing its purpose in life. Uh, it's not passing through IT equipment and picking up heat and carrying that heat back to the cooling units. It's simply coming out of the floor and going back to the cooling units. So we have six units of air doing that. We have four units of air coming into a cold aisle, and uh, supplying the IT equipment in that row. So this row consumes a total of two units of air. This row, the IT equipment consumes a total of two units. So the IT demand in this case is four units of air. We're supplying four. And if all the airflow management is done well in this aisle, then that may be sufficient. We've got just enough to meet the demand of the IT equipment. So we look at this and we see, absolutely, we should seal these cable openings. The misconception is that by sealing those cable openings, we are then reducing or even uh, eliminating the amount of bypass airflow in the room. And that's not the case. We're just shifting the location of where that air comes out of the floor. We still have 10 units of air going under the floor, and now all of that air is coming out into the cold aisle. But the IT equipment still only needs four units of air. It sucks up what, it's need, what it needs, and now we have six units of bypass airflow leaving the cold aisle and returning to the cooling units. So sealing the cable openings does not eliminate bypass airflow, but it allows you to uh, set up the room in a way where you then can uh, reduce the amount of bypass airflow by reducing the total amount of air moving through the cooling units relative to the amount of air moving through the IT equipment. The amount of air moving through the IT equipment is independent of the amount of air moving through the cooling units. They're, they're totally separate. Um, for the most part, the amount of air moving through the cooling units, uh, through the IT equipment is, is pretty s consistent. There's some variations on occasion as uh, equipment ramps up and ramps down, but in a fairly large size room, those tend to, to level out, even out, and, and there's a fairly consistent demand of IT equipment. So by improving the airflow management, either with blanking panels or sealing cable openings, we can then more closely balance the amount of air moving through the cooling units relative to the amount of air moving through the IT equipment have a little bit extra to deal with those variations in uh, demand of the IT equipment and to overcome a little bit of uh, airflow management uh, deficiencies and uh, reduce operating costs and also recover stranded capacity. We've now recovered five units of, uh, of airflow that as we add more cabinets that's available and the, the fans can be uh, increased again. So that's bypass airflow uh, in a nutshell.